guys can know, to film the video of me pouring this, it took me about 30 minutes extra. <laughs> what is up, internet? Kevin Gannett's here. Today, I'm having a bowl of Frosted Flakes. Well, double Frosted Flakes, because these boxes are not meant for 6'4", 300 pound people. Today is March 7th, and trying to figure out what to do about the cell phone situation. For those of you who don't know, I recently sold my iPhone 12 Pro for $900, and I bought a Galaxy S21 because it was on sale for $600. I really missed Android. I really don't like Apple's walled garden prison cell of the way that Apple handles letting you use the phone and customize the phone. Since I got my Galaxy S21, it's been a blast. It's been fun to be back on Team Android, but ran into an issue the other day while recording this vlog, which came out, I think, pretty okay. I noticed that the battery life takes a huge, huge hit while recording with the phone, with the Galaxy S21. I tend to record in 4K 30 for the most part, and then for slow-mo shots, like I did for that video, I'll go to 4K 60. Now, I'm not recording 4K 60 for 10, 15 minutes at a time. I'm recording it in 10 seconds at a time at most. And that's because when I slow it down 50%, so that way it becomes a 30 frames per second video, it's going to be double the length. So if I record, let's say, a 30 second shot, right? That turns into a one minute video. And if you guys watched the intro to this video, you guys will see that the shot only stays on screen for like under two seconds most of the time. The video editing that I like to do is matched with music. So usually the kick and snare is where I'm going with beat-wise to sync the video with. I hope I'm making sense to you guys. So I'm gonna try to make this video fun, try to put like a timeline thing on the bottom. So what I do is I'll match the beat with markers and then I'll cut the video into pieces so that way it'll only last from one kick or one beat or one snare to the next one or to what I please. Sometimes the music is more complicated. Sometimes the music has like a glitch effect to it. So there's a lot of things I like to do, but for the most part, when I'm recording 60 frames per second 4K, it's only for like two or three seconds because that two or three seconds becomes five or six seconds or four or six seconds. And you don't need for the kind of videos that I'm making super long slow-mo parts. So for the most part, I'm recording in 4K 30 and this battery life on this phone is scaring me, to say the least. Anybody else ever get that problem when they're eating cereal, like a mustache hair will just go in your cereal? Only me. But back to what I was saying, I'm only recording in like short bursts of 60 frames per second. Most of the time I'm recording 4K 30, and 4K 30 is perfect. That's what I use since, I think, I think every single vlog that's on my YouTube channel was recorded minimum 4K 30. Some vlogs didn't upload right into 4K, like they didn't process right in 4K on YouTube, but I recorded it in 4K 30. This phone, can I check the battery right now while I'm recording? This phone I've been recording since six minutes and it's already lost 4%. Now is that par for the course? Is that decent? Is that horrible? I'm not too sure. It seems like this video is dropping battery a lot faster than my iPhone did. Spike Johnson! So here's the situation with uh, my YouTube channel. I don't have a real camera. Uh, a real camera costs anywhere from $1,500 to 
and I'm talking about just the body of the camera. For those of you who don't know about cameras, most of the time when you buy a camera, you also need to buy a lens. My dad bought a camera that came with a kit lens. Please feel free to correct me. I don't know if I'm using the right terms, but he bought a camera that came with a kit lens, I believe is the term. And I tried using it for business, right? Because we were taking pictures for our website, for our businesses. And it was the most complicated thing I've ever used. I'm good with technology. I had no idea how to use the camera. You see, filming with the phone, right? Vlogging with the cell phone is such an easy thing to do. We've been using this camera on our phones forever. We know how to use the camera phone because we've been taking pictures and videos with our phone cameras ever since the iPhone 4 came out. So we have experience using phone cameras. All we gotta do is just point, shoot, fix our settings on the phone. And what's good about the phones are you're using auto settings. What that means is that the phone looks around with the camera, sees the lighting, sees everything. Like, see, if I go like this right now, everything goes in focus, the car goes in focus. But then when I put it back on me, see how the phone just lit up my face because it's looking constantly at how to make the video look better. The situation with me was I was getting very bored of Apple. I was getting very bored of the iPhone. Uh, I was always an Android guy ever since I sold my iPhone 4. Once the 4S came out and I saw that Apple wasn't trying to innovate anymore, like it was just like slight upgrades here and there. They added Siri, which I don't know who likes Siri, but if you guys like Siri, I feel so bad for you guys. Like Google Assistant is the most impressive, amazing piece of virtual technology ever. Uh, I switched to Android. I switched back to Android, let me say. I went from the Galaxy S6 to the S8 to the S10 to the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 12. And it just wasn't doing it for me anymore, so I switched to 12 around to 21. <laughs> I got the Galaxy S21. And I love the phone so far, like I said inside. The phone is amazing. And there's obviously going to be a quality drop, right? You're not getting on any phone that I've ever seen on YouTube or I've tested in real life. You're not getting anywhere near as good of experience as you are with Apple. Apple has the most smooth, consistent, most compatible camera out there on any phone. So I knew that I was taking a quality hit, right? But is the quality hit that bad? Like, could you guys tell me right now that this video looks worse than the iPhone videos? The problem is the videos directly from the camera to my laptop probably would look better from the iPhone. But after you edit them, then export them from the editor, then put them on YouTube, then YouTube does what it has to the video. To me, they'll probably be the same. Let's say maybe if the iPhone is a perfect 10 in regards to smartphone video, maybe the Galaxy S21 will be an 8.5 or a 9, which I'm perfectly happy with, I'm perfectly capable with. If that means I get to use my favorite phone operating system and I get to do whatever I want with my phone and I can make crazy setups like this, it's worth it to me to drop a little bit of quality down from the iPhone 12 Pro to the Galaxy S21 if that means that I have full customizability of my smartphone. But battery life is a huge thing for me. I definitely don't want the phone to die out midway through the day if I forgot my charger home and I need my phone to record videos, or if I need my phone just in case of an emergency, if I need to make a phone call, if I need to order a Uber, a Lyft, if I need to call AAA. My plan was to buy the Galaxy S21, test it out, and see how I like it. And so far, I love the phone, but like I said before, the camera issues are a little on the weird side. Maybe a software update could fix them, but the camera is the most important thing for me. So, with that being said, my next move is, if I'm not keeping this phone when the two week uh, return period is up, if I decide to return this phone, 
my next move would be to get a Google Pixel, either the 4A or the 4A 5G, probably the 4A because it's cheaper, to get the Google Pixel and then get a dedicated vlogging camera that has auto mode on it. Something like the Sony ZV-1 that I've been seeing a lot about. I loved my iPhone 11 Pro. It was tiny. The cameras were amazing. The iPhone 12 Pro got too big. It got worse battery life. And then I just, I don't like iOS. I'm not a fan of iOS. When you do the flip side, I don't think Android will ever have as good as cameras as the iPhone in terms of video. I think some Android phones, Samsung and Google, have already beat iPhone on camera quality. I think they up their game and let's face it, most people like taking selfies and pictures of where they're at. Not a lot of people record videos, especially vlogs, 4K vlogs for YouTube. I'm like a very small percentage of people so they don't really have to cater to me. Who they want to cater to is the phone, uh, is the selfies and the pictures for Instagram and Twitter. That's who they're catering to, so video is not as important as it should be. This video, just in case you guys don't understand, I'll try to put it in the title so you guys don't have to get to this part of the video to, see, to understand. This video is me testing out the phone and seeing how much battery I could have with this phone. See how the quality looks when I export this video to YouTube uh, in 4K to, and see how this video looks watching it back on a 4K TV. If you guys can do me a favor, it would mean the world to me. If you guys could leave a comment below, please let me know. Do you guys see a difference from this video, from this vlog, to my previous vlogs? Anything that you could tell differently. I've caught a lot of stuff already. Not major, not deal-breaking stuff, but, like, I've noticed things. But I want to know if you guys are noticing them as well. Maybe I'm just being a perfectionist. Would you say that these videos are good enough? Would you still watch my vlogs coming out in the future if all of them were recorded with this phone? Let me know. I'm going to do a final rear view camera video, and we're going to end the video there. hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a comment below let me know what you guys think so i can know what to do i only have a few days left to test out this phone before the return period is over and then i'm stuck with it so it would be nice if you guys could help me out with this one i'll see you guys in the next vlog peace out stay safe god bless catch you guys next time